The New Jedi Project is about new judicious experiments for dark sectors investigations. The project gathers experimental and theoretical international experts on nuclear physics, nuclear astrophysics, and dark sector theory. Hi, my name is Bern Bastin. I am a researcher at the Grand Accelerateur National du Lourd, located in Caen, France. I am also the New Jedi Scientific Coordinator. Thus, a fifth force of nature that links ordinary matter to the dark side of the universe exists. That's the ambitious question that the New Jedi collaborations aim to bring answers to. To answer this question, one needs first to remind what does the force mean and then what are the already well-known four forces of nature. Just afterwards, we'll present our current understanding of the universe composition and focus more particularly on its dark components. A force or an interaction results from the action of one object onto another. Scientists have currently identified four forces of nature. The gravity, which is an interaction that acts between objects with masses, like the Earth and the Moon. The electromagnetic force, which acts between charged particles. It will be an attractive or repulsive interaction depending if the charges into play are of opposite or of same sign. For instance, the electromagnetic force is the force acting between electrons, the charge negatively, and the nucleus, charged positively. The weak force, as for it, is the force that governs nuclear decays. It allows to change protons to neutrons and vice versa by emitting radiation. The weak force results from the interaction of quarks and leptons' elementary particles. And finally, the strong force results from the interaction between quarks and gluons' elementary particles. The strong force binds neutrons and protons within the atomic nucleus. Despite its apparent complexity, ordinary matter is in reality composed of just few elementary particles, quarks and leptons. These particles, together with bosons that act as force carrier particles, and the Higgs boson constitute the main components of the standard model particle physics theory. This theory is able to describe 5% of the universe made of ordinary matter. Indeed, at the beginning of the universe, Everything was in the energy and radiation forms. There was no matter. The Higgs boson was introduced by Peter Higgs and François Engler at the standard model to explain how particles get mass. The existence of the Higgs boson was postulated in 1964. It was confirmed only recently in 2012 at CERN. Examples of simulated and observed distributions, black dots, of events corresponding to a Higgs boson decay into two photons or four leptons obtained by the CMS and ATLAS detectors respectively and independently are shown. Examples of experimental traces measured are presented. By applying physics conservation laws, for instance, it was possible to deduce the mass of the Higgs boson from the data. We now come to the question, what is our universe made of? As mentioned before, ordinary matter represents only 5% of our universe. 26% are made of dark matter that does not emit light and whose existence has been introduced to explain, for instance, the star's rotational velocity within galaxies or the gravitational lenses effects observed in space. The remaining 69% of the universe is made of dark energy, distributed uniformly and that acts as a kind of repulsive gravitational force. The existence of dark energy has been considered to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe. The relative composition of the universe has been deduced from the cosmic microwave background and isotropy distribution. We have presented our current and conventionally accepted description of the universe structure. However, to date, the real composition of dark sectors of our universe remains a mystery. We still do not have a clear answer to the question, what is dark matter composed of? There are some indications, several candidates, but despite of all the efforts carried out the last three decades all around the world, none of the dedicated experiments has yet proved the existence of dark particles. 
summarize the situation. The standard model of particle physics describes pretty well ordinary matter, but is not able to describe the dark side of the universe. And despite all efforts, there is still not a clear proof of dark matter particles' existence. Last decades, an alternative approach to a current understanding of the universe has been considered through a new theory named the Dark Sector Theory. The New Jedi project aimed to test experimentally this theory that is also cited as a hidden sector theory. A dark sector can be defined as a hypothetical set of relatively light particles that interact with ordinary matter with an amplitude which is orders of magnitude lower than the electromagnetic interaction via portals, the so-called bosons. Therefore, the idea is basically to check the existence or not of a new particle called the boson that will act as a messenger of a new fee force of nature. How can we check experimentally the existence of this possible fee force of nature? Up to now, many experiments using different techniques have just provided exclusion zones concerning the amplitude of probability of such an interaction or concerning the mass of a possible dark boson. And there is in particular a nuclear physics experiment which has caught the scientific community attention. It's an experiment carried out by an Hungarian research team. Our investigation is further motivated by the recent claim that the anomaly they observed in the electron-positron pair decays of excited state in barium-8 can be interpreted as a signature of a hypothetical boson. But what happened during this experiment? Hungarian scientists from the Atomki Research Institute have sent protons on lithium atoms made of three protons and four neutrons at an energy of about 5% of the speed of light. It leads to the production of a new atom called beryllium-8 made of four neutrons and four protons. This new atopic nucleus is produced in an excited configuration. The atom can find its fundamental configuration following different path. It can emit a photon that escapes the reaction area at the speed of light. Or case number two. It emits a photon that interacts with the medium and leads then to the production of an electron positron pair. The relative angle between the electron and the positron, labeled theta, is quite small in that case. And a third possibility. The beryllium-8 atomic nucleus emits a boson. According to the experimental data from this specific experiment, its lifetime is very short. It decays instantaneously into an electron-positron pair. The relative angle theta between these two particles is very large in that case, measured around 140 degrees. This is how it looks like the experimental spectrum obtained during this experiment. The bump observed at 140 degrees has been interpreted as a possible signature of a dark boson decay that was named X17. Do we have discovered a dark boson? Well, it's not so clear. First, the given result is not really compatible with the conclusion from a complementary experiment, NA64, that was carried out at CERN. We may also ask ourselves if it might be an interfact linked to an experimental error or subtle nuclear physics effect in barium-8, which has a complex nuclear structure. Therefore, as for the Higgs boson, a second independent measurement is needed. The New Jedi project has very ambitious goals. The idea is to check first the existence or not of a new particle called boson that will allow the interaction between ordinary matter and dark sectors of the universe. In other words, does a fifth force of nature exist? If yes, what is the nature of the dark boson observed? 
focus will be set on the study of simplest nuclear system to reduce as much as possible nuclear structural uncertainties. Some of the foreseen reaction may also shed additional light on the dynamics of few nuclear systems relevant for the precision Big Bang nuclear synthesis studied, and that constitute the second scientific motivation of this project. To answer these questions, several experiments are foreseen. The New Delal experimental program is articulated between three main European facilities. The IGC Lab experimental platform, including the Aramis Cap and the Andromed facilities, the Tondertron accelerator located at RES, and the Ganil Spiral 2 facility. The latter will deliver the most intense stable beam in Europe at the energy of interest for the New Jedi project, setting Europe at the heart of dark sector studies. The New Jedi setup is now ready for its online commissioning that should take place in April 2021 at RES in Czech Republic. First experiments are forcing just afterwards. If you are interested on a project and you want to follow the New Jedi collaboration activities, you can have a look on the New Jedi webpage or follow my Twitter account. Stay safe and may the force be with us!